Man, I can't believe it, man. You know, when I was a kid growing up in Roxborough, I took these trains often. And here there's two examples still left that haven't gone to scrap. Electric powered, built probably in the 40s or 50s. For sure they were probably made somewhere here in Canada. And man, I remember these well. They had red seats, just like the fronts. And they're not in great condition, but they could definitely be restored. But it looks like this museum's got a lot of stuff they got to restore. That's the thing. There you got old via rail cars, old locomotives. There's an old CN switcher over there. Get a close up of that. Yeah, GMD something definitely. And then, of course, on the other end of the scale, you had these regular passenger cars, which of course were for long distance. And then you got an old VF unit there. But man, this is amazing for me, man. This me ramène des souvenirs. It brings back memories, man. Jesus, so going downtown, coming from downtown, and everything squeaking, cheek, 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 rattle, rattle, rattle. It was really incredible. And I would love to be able to get a peek inside of this, you know? See what they look like still. Incredible. Look at all the, the, the electric, look at all the duct tape they put on the roof. Because they're leaking. Oh man, that means the insides can't be too good. Shit. Get the view of the front of it there. Yeah, they would run every hour. And just like the uh, the locomotives that would pull the regular passenger cars like this one here behind the F unit I just showed, uh, they lasted until 1995. Faithfully serving. I never took one that broke down or ever had a problem. Never. Built to last, man. Back in the day, people built things with pride and there's like no plastic in there whatsoever. You know? Yeah, that's something.